Hydressor Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Pusheen eating a watermelon for my summer series. So let's get started. To draw cute Pusheen, let's first start by drawing the top of her head. So I'm going to come right here and just draw a soft curve right in the center. Then I'm going to come up on both sides for her ears. So round off the tip and come right back down. So because I know I have a flower right here and I can't erase, I'm going to stop first and just draw this small flower. But if you're using a pencil, definitely go ahead and finish everything else. So the rest of her back, I mean. So I'm going to come in here and draw this flower because she is on vacation, right? <laughs> okay, so whatever space you have left, just finish it up and same thing up here. Round off the tip and come right back down. So I'm going to continue this down and same thing over here. Okay, so before I um, draw more of the body, I want to come back in here and work on the um, details right here. So first one I want to do is come in here and draw the stripes. So it's basically three U's right on top. Then we're going to work on her mouth. So come right down the center, say about right here. And we're going to go straight down and then curve up on both sides. Come to the side of this mouth and we're going to draw her eyes. So just circle. And I'm going to give it a little highlight and shade it in. So same thing over here. There. Okay, so Pusheen is definitely eating a watermelon. So we want to stick a, a big piece of watermelon right in here. So come right where her mouth is and we're going to draw an angle line down. Her big piece of watermelon. Okay, bring it down. And we want her hands about in this area, not too low because that wouldn't look right. So just approximately where her hands would be. So I'll say about right here. Just going to pop in two curves and I'll finish off my watermelon with a curve. Right there. So for some details on the watermelon, just come right here for the rind, just draw a curve and um, I'm going to put in three seeds. So basically three teardrops and so then that is pretty much it for that part right there oh and the whiskers before I forget so right where her eyes are I'm gonna pop out two curves and this side doesn't come into her face it just comes out from the side right there and then let's continue her body Okay, so a little bit more and then bring it down. Uh, okay, about that much. <laughs> Let's bring it in. Let's get pushing its proportions right. So uh, about right here, I'm going to pop up the foot. So I'm just going to draw a little curve and continue. And it's going to continue across. And about right here, we're going to pop out another foot. And connect. And then, before I forget, let's draw the stripes right in this area. And then her tail. So we're going to pop it out right here. Let's see. Come right here. And just draw a curve around. And bring it right back in. And we're going to give it three curves right here. The stripes. And one more. Okay, so pushing is pretty much done now for all the details <laughs> that make this drawing really special to me. I really love this drawing. Um, so then come right here. I guess because I hope, I wish I was there where she is right now. <laughs> so I'm going to come right next to Pusheen and draw a plate of watermelon because one is never enough. So right next to her, a little bit lower. I'm just going to come in here and draw an oval for the plate. 
something like that. And then I'm going to stick a big piece of watermelon in here. And draw a curve. And finish off my point. And once again, the details. Just a curve for the rind area and the seeds. There. Okay, so now we're going to have to draw the window box that she's sitting in, right? So I'm going to, um, let's see here. Let's come about right here, right underneath this watermelon. And I'm going to draw a straight line across. So I'll say about right here because I want to have enough space for the window. So I'll pick this area and go right across under my watermelon plate and then stop about right there. So just take a look how where you want your pushing to be. So about right there. And then I'm going to come down to a straight line and draw another line across. And I'm going to fancy it up and give it a little trim. So come out here with a little curve. And another straight line, kind of. <laughs> and one more, just to finish it up, make it look more complete. One more, that's it. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. <laughs> It's so low on my drawing that my hand feels scrunched up. Okay, I can totally fix that. <laughs> There's always a computer, right? Computer's easy. You can just use it, your computer to fix it. Okay, something like this. And then we have one more. So I'm going to go up at an angle. And then about right there, I'm going to start with another line. So I'm going to imagine this going through should pop out about right there. And so we're going to do the same thing here. So a little angle line is going to come out about right here for a window box. Okay, finally. All done right here. The shelving part of where she sits is done. And then let's see here. Now we got to draw the um, window area. So right in this area is where we're going to start and i'm just going to imagine going up say above her so i'm going to save up right here and i'm just going to bring a straight line down and same thing here so approximately right there If you're drawing big and you care for your lines to be straight, definitely grab a ruler. Okay. There, now I have my window and she's in there. And so then from there, I'm going to extend this out a tiny bit because I have curtains I want to draw. So just a little bit extend it out and I'm going to start the curtain. So I'm going to come up here and draw three curves. And two little curves right in here. And same thing here. So about right here. One, two, three, and two curves. And let's connect this right here with a straight line. And another one. This is good practice, right? For for lines. <laughs> okay. I'm so wobbly today. There. Okay. Then now let's draw. Let's see here. Let's work on the um, scenery first. So I'm going to come right here in this area, about right here, and I'm going to draw the horizon line. So straight across. <laughs> another straight line and then I'm going to draw my palm tree so it's going to stick out right here through the window so about right here I'm going to draw 
the trunk of the palm tree that's coming out. And in this area, I'm going to draw a circle for a coconut and another one. And then the leaves. So pop it out from the center right here. I'm going to draw the first one, two, and three. That's the basic shape that you're aiming for. And then a line right in the center. And another one that comes down here. I hope I'm not going too fast, cuties. If I am, please pause the video and hopefully that will help. And another one. So whatever space you have draw your leaves and so we have the palm tree and then let's give um, let's draw a little sailboat right here I can't wait to see your fan art of this because you could add so many things and I hope you do I just hope this inspires you to have fun with this drawing and let's draw some clouds big fluffy clouds come across so And some birds, of course. So this is how I like to draw birds. Just little two little curves. There. And let's see. Um, now for our curtains, right? So let's draw the curtains as if there's a slight breeze. If you like, you can make them straight down. But I want mine to have like a slight breeze. So I'm going to start right here. And curve it out. I'm going to come right down. So I'm going to follow that curve I just created. And come right down here and we're going to draw three curves to finish off our curtain. There. And same thing over here. So right there. And last one. And I think I have everything. <laughs> so when you're coloring it, the one little tip is for the um, uh, curtain area because depending on what color, if you want it to be sheer, whatever color you um, put in this area right here, just make it, um, just get a white color pencil and just go through it so that it looks a little bit paler. So it looks like the curtain is um, overlapping the image. But um, hopefully this uh, drawing here, oh wait, hold on, one more thing before I get carried away with talking. Just some details right here on the trunk of our coconut tree. Okay, so that is pretty much it. <laughs> like I said, I really hope you love this drawing. I really do. And um, I really hope this inspires you to have fun. And I've made it easy for you to draw along with me. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it and you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw Circuit videos. See you later.